For a spin today. Anchored out, uh, motored for about an hour, kind of, where'd we go? East up the San Joaquin, there was no wind. Now, yeah. it's filthy wind. We got nothing but wind. Uh, kind of, where, where are we? False River, or what'd you say? Middle River. Middle River. Uh, Middle River, south of the San Joaquin, and yeah, we're just swinging on anchor right now. Uh, we hooked up a bridle. One side goes slack, the other side goes tight. And it all ultimately clips back in the middle. We used like a, not quite a rolling hitch, but I used a spectra loop and a uh, pressing knot and then clipped to that. So it's like a chain gripper knot on a loop. Yeah, that's Mandeville Island. This is Mildred Midford. Island. Or Medford? Medford. Is that what it is? Yeah. And we're gonna hang Birds out and here wildlife. for a couple days. Windy is. It's kicked up. It's good. What did Jenny want to do? What did you tell <laughs> I wanted to take a nap. Jenny didn't want to move. Yeah. So we drove around in circles. We found boat boats that were parked all over the place. We rafted up, huge, like big lot of boats. So we went down Middle River, across the San Joaquin, oh, Columbia, Columbia Cut? Cut. Went up Columbia Cut to Head Reach Cut Off. Came back around to Disappointment Slough. And it was a was disappointment. Named. Uh, drove around to kind of towards Little Connection Slough and actually Mandeville Place near Finnis Reach and ended up coming right down, right back down Middle River, dropping anchor right where we were at last night. We didn't anchor as easily as we did last night though. There's a pretty big current, evidently. With the tides. Yeah, the tide, we're right at slack tide, or thereabouts. High tide is supposed to be like 6 o'clock. So yesterday when we anchored, we almost immediately turned. I heard, we're like 90 degrees to our chain. 90 degrees to the chain and, no, 180 degrees to the chain and 90 degrees to the wind. Yeah, the chain was like directly under our boat. And the wind was on the side. And from the, off the beam. On the west side. And the swell... I think we were pointed into the swell, or into the current, because the tide, we had pretty good three and a half, almost four foot tide swings right now. It, I mean, we were stuck, it wasn't like we were... No, we weren't moving, we weren't dragging or anything. We were about 80% when we unplugged shore power, and when we got here, what, were we at 92? Something like that. And then, a few days ago I ran the engine, and uh, just checking it out, and you have to get above about 
1000 RPMs is when I start seeing positive voltage going into the battery charging system. But under that, it's drawing power yeah, from batteries. Yeah, it seems like anything less than 1000 RPMs is, we get a negative pull on the battery. So the whole time we motored, we weren't, we motored around for an hour and a half today and we weren't uh, making any amps. And I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm gonna have to look into it when we get back. Something with the alternator. Yeah, obviously something with the alternator. The first thing that the first thing that brought it to my attention was the tachometer was reading zero RPMs. All the other gauges were on, but the tach feed, there's a pulse wire that goes and measures RPMs of the alternator that corresponds with the RPMs of the tachometer. And that wasn't triggering the tach the tach wasn't working today. It was working yesterday all the whole time we motored out here. I gotta troubleshoot the alternator. It could be a simple simple matter of a cheapo voltage regulator or the whole thing could be shot and we'd have to I gotta take it apart and open it up and see what's wrong with it. So then we turned on the generator when we got here. We have a Honda two thousand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So running up plugging into the Honda generator, I'm getting a freaking reverse polarity light on my so we have on, a, on my AC panel side. We have a reverse polarity indicator i guess when the when the generator is putting voltage into the victron battery charger and the victron battery charger is charging the batteries and providing alternating current 120 volt alternating current to the boat for some reason our double breaker our second we got a two pole breaker and the second pole is reading reverse polarity everything seems to work computer's working computer's on right now the inverter's on now that the batteries have done charging. Never seen that light plugged into shore power, but the minute we charge the batteries at anchor with the generator, yeah, I got a reverse polarity coming out of that Honda. So I'm gonna go out and look at the anchor chain. Yeah, let's take a look at that. It's a it's a hoop. You see that it's kind of hard to see. There's two little tuli patches, like right there, and there, like little tufts. It's basically where our anchor is. So we anchored there, which we did yesterday. But when we backed up, we kind of backed up a little bit straight out. So today we anchored there and we backed up this direction because our boat wanted to, basically yesterday it swung and was facing this way, with the chain back there and the wind coming from the west. So San Francisco is that way. We live at El Harbor that direction. San Joaquin River is straight that way. So you can probably hear now the wind is coming from the west almost directly, which is to the left of the frame. And we are, you can see the chain is straight down. This is actually the best it's looked. It was behind us yesterday. Um, but we are not pointing into the wind. And we're guessing the current, even when even at the tide going out, we still stayed the same way, so, I don't know, it's a little confusing. As long as we're not moving, I guess that's good. Like, there's a little Thule Island there, and there's the, so Thule Island is here, and then the big island, which is Medford Island, is there. And you can go back, there's a slot you can actually go back in back there. But we're in the main slot here, between this island and this little Thule Island. And then that's Mandeville, and then that mountain back there is Mount Diablo. Typically on regular household appliance plugs, you got one's fatter than the other. One side is fatter than the other, the hot and the neutral. Well, the fat side is the neutral side. So my only guess is probably when I made up this power adapter to go into our shore power plug, because it's a smart plug, uh, I'm guessing that all I gotta do is switch those two wire connections around inside this plug and it probably won't reverse polarity. I switched the black and the white wires in the shore power connector cord that comes out of the battery. Chain. So you had them wired correctly as they were labeled. Correct. And we still got this. Yes. And even the even the male plug, the twist lock goes into the uh, right shore power connector. Out on the cord, our orange cord that is our shore power cord yeah. has W and G on the prongs. The small prong on a twist lock is white. The big prong on a twist lock is black. The bent prong is the ground tab. Mm. I don't know what the heck. I don't know why that light comes on when we're running off the generator. Mm. 